Yes, whenever you are ready. Okay. All right. Start. Last session, you guys found yourself on a train. You were in Australia, headed from Perth to Derby. And you found there's something really wrong with the train. Um, at night, the train starts to steal the energy from people. Um, these strange, almost gas mask look looking things attach themselves to people's faces and slowly suck power from them. In an attempt to escape, you have begun fleeing forward through the train, um, I guess to reach the conductor in hopes of either stopping the train or getting off the train. Okay. And that's where we'll, we'll begin. So, all I'll right. Show you guys. Get back to the train. I'll minimize my sheet so I can see. Uh, could could you just repeat what is sucking the life out of what? They're sucking the life out of the people. Um, Ghosts, monkeys, an orgy. It's. So a train is like attaching itself to people's faces and the sucking the power. The train out of them. is attaching itself. What? <laughs> yeah, the train is touching itself. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it. The train is like sticking tubes into people's mouths and sucking the life energy out of them. Well, okay. <laughs> Right, and um, you figure, find out you can't uh, separate the trains, the train cars from each other, because they're being held together through some strange green force. And that's where we're beginning. Okay. Um. Yeah, Connor is uh, just kind of drunk. Yeah, um, Connor and Revan uh, were the first going forward and discovered that the next car, train car in front of them and theirs has French soldiers in it. Hey, the bloody French? What the fuck are they doing here? You see, um... That question. there are like a dozen French soldiers. Um, most of them are sitting in chairs, obviously drunk. Um, you know, smoking cigarettes on the tables in front of them. Um, and they, some of them have those gas masks attached to their faces, connected to the walls of the train car. You said they're drunk or yeah. drinking? They appear drunk. All right. On second opinion, these guys seem actually kind of, kind of swell. Let's go in here and uh, I'll, I'll wander in and grab a drink off of a table. Okay. Don't mind if I join you there, gents? There's no response. Everybody, it, it's it's one in the morning. Everybody's either sleeping, um, passed out, drunk, or is having has a mask attached to their face. So in other words, it's my kind of party. Yeah. Oh, this is fucking amazing! I'm gonna sit here and get myself shit faced, and I'm gonna start drinking their rum or their alcohol and putting spare bottles into my coat. Okay. Um, I need Connor to make a spot hidden roll. All right. The last one I made was a critical, so let's see what happens. Haha, -ha, sixty-seven. You notice that there is one French soldier sitting in a chair over here who appears to be sleeping. Um, he doesn't seem to have a beer or whiskey anywhere around him. Okay. 
Um, but a losing hand of playing cards right in front of him. Uh, is there any money on the table? There are chips, no money. Do I see, like, any sort of actual pot lying around? Pot as in a uh, cash pile at the center of the table? Or what would stand in for it? Or not really? Um, all that you see on the table are the cards and chips. Any kind of money. Or no currency that you would... Garner. Okay. Um, you, would, you would guess that the chips are being used in place of currency. In lieu of currency. And there is no currency around... These guys all seem drunk and masked, correct? Most of them do, yes. Um, I'm going to shake a couple of the ones with a mask on and be like, hey, hey buddy, can you hear me there? And, uh, sort of like gurgling noises. But no one's responding to you. No one who has a mask on is able to respond to you. Uh, do I? Am I able to wake up people without the mask? Um, for the most part, you get drunken, slurred speech that you know they're um, not entirely sure where they are. But the Frenchman who doesn't appear to have been drinking at all, but just gambling, and fell asleep in his chair, gives the most coherent response to you. Okay. <laughs> who are you? Oi, I'm uh, I'm the tax fairy. I'm here to help you uh, alleviate your gambling debts. Uh, you work with the train? I mean, got the uniforms on. No, no, I work with the gambling commission. The gambler. You're not even French. Who are you? Of course, I'm not French. No, I'm gonna say this rather angrily. Uh, and, uh, hmm. I'm, I, like I said, I'm from the Gambling Commission. I don't know what's, what's, that's hard for you to understand. <sighs> now I'm here to help you pay your debts so you can, uh, get up off this train here. Also, do you know anything about these gas masks? I <sighs> came in and everybody was wearing these gas masks. Is it a new vape thing? I don't understand. He looks around. Why the hell are they wearing it all? These... The men, they're... On leave from war, they shouldn't be... Wearing their gas masks. I don't think they're theirs. I think the, the gas masks are on the train somewhere. Ah, well, makes sense. How yeah. does that make sense? Well, we're in wartime country, it's... Obviously, for the protection of the passengers. He glances at the window. It's um, dark, but you can see the terrain looks very different from the terrain outside of the windows of your car. You see um, trees, um, mountains, uh, barbed wire fences, um, craters from bombs, and in the distance, moving figures. Uh, Humanoid figures. Is the, train, is the train moving? Yes, the train is moving. And these figures are just wandering around outside, or are they catching up to the train? They're wandering around outside. They're not paying attention to the train. They're just, they're just walking. They're not running after it. Oh, okay, so they're just, they just happen to be there. Yes. Okay. Um. Why are there people wandering around outside in the middle of fucking nowhere? Uh, it's probably Germans. We didn't leave the battle too long ago, so. Knew there'd be troop movements around. But it'd be good yeah. to get on leave. So, you don't work for the train. Judging by your clothes, you're more of the professor type. Are you a professor? A teacher? 
Oh, he could teach you a thing or two about drinking, but uh, I don't know too much. Uh, my classes are quite specialized, as one might say. Uh, I, th I don't do much drinking. <laughs> to be honest, I'm a kind of a kid. How fucking old are you? Uh, 19. You're a 19 year old chap. What are you doing alone? Pl uh, gambling, drunk off your ass in the middle of a bar? Oh. Well, you know, I'm not at home. I haven't seen home in a while. Sort of feel more like a man than ever before. So I decided to gamble with some of my fellow soldiers. Before we had to get home and leave, I get to see my family again, I get to see my girlfriend again. No. Exciting. You. You're 19. How do you have a girlfriend already? You don't just have a lass, you're just sitting around at home waiting for you, mate. Uh, there's plenty of them around, but... Someone who... You kind of have... Who's waiting for you? That's what I got at home. Yeah, a woman waiting for you is called your mother. Ah, no, no, no. Not my mother. I don't need to see her all that much. Wait, son, where are you from? Paris. Where are you from? You're from, from Paris. Well, I'm from Wildershire, a little place down south of Dublin. Ah, cause I knew you were nowhere near French. You don't fucking say by the accent. It was the accent that gave it away. I wasn't sure where you were from. I thought it was just me charming manners. Uh, I can't quite put as much sarcasm into that statement as I want, but I'm trying. <laughs> it's quite alright. <laughs> Uh, it must be late. What time is it? Do you have a... you see a clock anywhere around here? Uh... Do I see a clock anywhere around here? <laughs> you do see a clock over by the bar. It's kind of near the edge of your vision, though. So you can't quite make out what time it says. Oh, yeah, I see late. one over there by the bar. I'll be back. I'll tell you what... I'll go over there and tell you what time it is. Um, it, it's dark in the train now, yes? Yes. Um, are there light switches anywhere? I, th I think you said there was electric lighting on the, on there the train. There is electric lighting. I will attempt to turn the lights on. Okay. Yeah, just flick of the switch, the lights turn on. You, you hear okay. a small hu uh, soft hum as lights click on. Okay, so now I can see. Yeah. Um... It's, okay, so then. It's okay, roughly, go. uh, like a little after one in the morning. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go over here anyway and thoroughly inspect the bar. All right. Um, how many bottles of liquor are there? You find eight open bottles of liquor and 12 closed bottles of liquor. I now carry eight open bottles of liquor and 12 closed bottles of liquor. All righty then. Um, you like I said, you passed several uh, incapacitated French soldiers on your way over to the bar. Um, but there's no yep. sign of crew or anything like that. Um, uh, where I, I want to stop at one of the cl or after I'm done looting the bar, I want to stop at one of the closest. Uh, French soldiers and, and search him to see if I can find any money. Okay. Nope. No. I move on to the next one. Unless anybody wants to jump in and stop me. You see the uh, young girl come in. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out who these men are. There's one of them awake. Why don't you just ask? Because, uh, 
Oh, I asked him his name. He hasn't told me anyone else's name. Boy, what's your name? Henry. What's yours, beautiful? The goddamn French. He starts, he gets up and slowly makes his way over to Eva. Why don't you take you back to my bunk and I'll, uh, show you what the French are made of. Uh, I'm, uh, Connor will start cackling. How's that ever worked before before you, boy? No. Then why would you think it would work now? Go on, How? off with you. Why are your soldiers on this company? Oh. What is? Where are you off to? Uh, we're on, we're on we're going on leave. You were just you no. Know, it's been a few months in war. Heading home. So you're headed home to France. Headed home to Paris. Jeez. Which, which is in France. Yes. Where the hell do you think this train is? We're in France. I thought we were in, like out of character. I thought we started in Australia. You did. Okay. Okay. No, I'm pretty sure we're in Australia, mate. <sighs> what is wrong? Look out the windows. That's There's France. There's a fucking kangaroo. <laughs> that is a fucking dog. Picking up scraps. Jeez. On its hind legs with a head poking out of its stomach. He looks. That is no kangaroo. Matt, I don't know what you've been drinking, wherever you come from, but it's really, really messed up your mind. Uh, as he says, I don't know what you've been drinking, I'm going to rummage around my coat and hand him a, a small steel flask. This is what I've been tr drinking. Be careful with this boy. It'll knock you on your ass. He takes the bottle and puts it, the flask from you and puts it back on the table. I don't drink. You don't gamble much either. And I put the flask back into my jacket. I don't win much. It's just a friendly game. We don't have the money to spend on gambling. Let's play some cards to pass the time until we get home. You know, you asked me your name, my name, but what's your name? Fuck, what is my name? And I'm gonna pat around. Fuck. Fuck. Right. Uh. Your, your name is fuck? Joshua? No, Connor. My name is Connor. Connor McLaren. Connor. It's been a while since I've had to remember my own name. Huh. Is that a thing people forget? <sighs> he shakes his head. Perhaps you've had too much to drink. You've already... So you already don't realize where you are. You don't remember your own name. Lad, I'm Irish. I've never had enough to drink. However, the last time I was here, or the last time I uh, looked around, I was in Perth. Yeah, um... I think it was... Was it Perth, or were we on the way to Perth? You were leaving Perth. So you're about yeah. to... You should... Um, last you saw in daylight was just uh, flat land, um, some desert, some... Small bushes. Yeah. So when I bought this train ticket, um, and I assume I still have the ticket stub, right? Yes. And it says from Perth to, I think it was Darwin? Um, it's to Derby, and you're taking it to... Uh, to Derby. Ship to Darwin. Okay. Okay. So see, this ticket here that I bought, that got me onto the train, says it's gone from Perth to Derby, and then I'm taking... Then I'm leaving from Derby on a steamship to Darwin, Australia. You're on the wrong uh, fucking hemisphere, shit. 
And they say, I drank too much. How the fuck did your entire company end up in Australia when you're trying to go to France? He takes the ticket from you and looks at it. He begins reading it. His hands, you see his hands start shaking and his eyes go wide and he starts screaming. Where am I? Where am I? Where You're am in I? fucking Australia where I fucking told you. No. Can't be. We, we, left, we left the bat the front. Just a day ago. Supposed to be just transporting troops and. Oh god. Oh. My mom. Everything. Everything's going wrong. He starts screaming more. As he he drops the ticket to the floor and is screaming. Oh come on! You've never had a little bit of dislocation in your life. <laughs> um, you see, um. Professor Coles come into the train, He's looking out the windows. This is not Australia. He says, matter of factly. Well, where the bloody butt fuck are we then? He tries to peer out the windows. Don't really see much out there. No signs. No anything. Some bodies. Soldiers. This is a war zone. Where are we? I'll do you one better. When are we? Because if uh, we're not in Australia and we're not in France, where the fuck are we? And if we can be pulled out from where, we can pulled out from when, too. Fuck me. Ooh. What year is it for you? Uh, 1919. All right. All right, we're getting somewhere. We are back in time. Uh, At least I am. Oh, uh, fuck. I think it was 1923 where I was. I do have it written down. It was 1925. 1925. Yeah. Uh, what what date is it specifically? A uh, specific date? I don't know. Like, uh, like, is it like January? Is it June? Um, hold on. Let my, uh, internet load. <laughs> Fair enough. It's December. Should be. It's December. It's December of 1919 or 1918? 1916. 1916. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, good. Because I wrote down 1919 and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. 1916 makes a lot more sense. All right, all right. Uh, fuck me. I, I, are you coming back from the Battle of Verdun? Yeah. Yeah, just... The Germans just surrendered. Going home. Leave. Alright. It's okay, chap. And I'm gonna clap him on the shoulder. Two more years! And I'm gonna we'll, we'll sign the Treaty of Versailles and fuck up them Germans quite... quite good. 
I hear the war is almost over. Gotta keep my head high, I suppose. Oh, I, I, uh, and uh, do you know about this? Uh, what do I fucking call it now? Is it still shell shock or is it battle fatigue yet? Either way, when you start seeing the faces of your enemies in your nightmares. It's okay, take up the drink. Or take up something good and productive. You don't want those things keeping you up all night, let me tell you. Bad for your, it's bad for your mental health. You go a little bit mad. Well, I found the right way to deal with it. And as I say that, I start swigging just a random bottle of booze that I've picked up. Yeah. Breathe, boy. It is okay. <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the one that's been transported through time and presumably space. Why am? Why are you the one freaking out? No. Oh. Nothing is. Nothing's making sense. Nothing just nothing makes sense. Try a little bit of Irish wisdom, and I'm gonna hand him um, a bottle of whiskey. He takes it and starts drinking. Good lad, good lad. Have you had anything to eat today? Ah, dinner served. Six o'clock. All right, you're gonna need something more, and I'm gonna grab him and gently stand him up and pull him back with me to the bar. Okay. You don't find any food oh. around. Oh, damn it. Um, are, are there no, like, bar snacks or anything like that? No, nothing. Damn. Alright, well, I'm gonna sit him at the bar. Alright. Alright, what is uh, our friend John Watson doing? Because I don't want to feel like I'm taking up yeah. the, entire, the entire session. Okay. Yes, Mr. Watson. Uh, no idea. I seem to be stuck in the, uh, car behind. Should be able to move out. Unless I have the wall blocking you. Ah! I finally managed to get through. Yeah. Sorry, the wall was blocking your, uh, exit. So I'm moving to the next car. Right. And, uh, yeah, Mike did say the year was 1919 initially. I, I did. Yeah. I was waiting for Wikipedia okay. to load up. So Fair I, could, I had to take a wild guess at what year it was. Yeah. You know, because the Treaty of Versailles was 19, June 1919. Yeah. Um, Oliver Dune ended in December of 1916. 16, yeah. How many are you? Where are you all coming from? Coming from the other fucking car now, aren't we? The f telling me where the fuck we're coming from. Use your eyes, boy! <sighs> Sorry, everything's... I think I drink too much. Nonsense! Nonsense! Just slow down a little, have a little water, you'll be fine in the morning. Can the Can two of you both make luck rolls? Yes. Alright. As you're- as uh, Henry is sitting there at the bar, still holding that bottle of whiskey, you see a panel- uh, kind of you see a panel and the bar slide open, and a mask come flying out and attach itself to Henry's face. Alright, um, I will immediately try and pull it off him. 
Will that be dex or, or to catch it? Would that be dex or strength? Um, it's gonna be strength because it moves so quickly. You couldn't intercept it. Damn. Okay. Um, John, you look around the car and you see several panels in the ceiling of the car slowly sliding open. Right, I'll and, shout I say, this I say out. several, I'd be like three dozen. Nearly every square foot is covered by these with these panels. Okay, um... So every one of these, uh, so uh, mechanically, every one of these squares is now occupied by a, a, a face hugger mask. Yeah. Okay. It's um, all being threatened by. Okay. A am I still being threatened by one? Yeah. Um. Just not the one that attached itself to Henry, but yes. Okay. Um. So what what area is affected by all of these masks? Um, everywhere where the tables are and where the bar is. Okay, so like not so much over here. No. All right. Well, I'm gonna basically if somebody fell asleep in that one of the chairs, the there was a mask that was able to um get to them. Okay, I'm gonna try and move either here or here, however far that can get me. I think I can move that far. Yeah. Oh. Do I need to roll anything to get over that bar, or? Uh... I can just. I'll just assume you um were able to uh, navigate around. Okay. It. Okay. There's no there's no chairs or anything to or stools to impede your movement. Okay, so I just kind of hop the bar and run away. Okay, I think someone's masking their true intentions over here. Alright, um, Connor, you see you're at the end of a long hallway. Okay. Um, there's a door off to your left that is currently closed, and the hallway bends at the end off to the left. Okay, um... You can faintly see a door at the end of the hallway. Around the corner. Odd... Um, uh, but I am completely, I am completely cut off from the rest of my comrades. Oh, no, you're not. You're, they can come over there if they want to. Yeah, I was going to say that I'll try running down the car as fast as I can. Okay. Yeah, the, um, the masks coming from the ceiling are moving slowly. Okay. I thought they were moving, like, quickly so they would... If they got a chance, they just attach themselves to your face. No, they're moving slowly. Okay. So, how far can I actually go, Mike? Um, you can, if you're running, you can move up to five times your uh, movement speed. So. Hi, Connor. Well, hello there, John. What the fuck is going on? I've got no fucking clue. I know I've been smoking me pipe, but this is um, ridiculous. Like, I'd say it was a masquerade, but uh, there's no other costumes. Connor does make terrible puns, and I do not apologize for it. <laughs> Where did all these frogs come from? <laughs> I'm not fucking sure. Like, uh, they, they thought we were in France, which, fuck, we might be. And uh, also, we're apparently in 1919, but uh, last time I checked, it was 1925. 1916, I believe. 1916, that is exactly what I said, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dyslexic with numbers as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's 1916, according to these uh, young froggies here. 
So I'm not entirely sure what to do with that information, but, uh... I'm guessing you're a tad early for your appointment with your, uh, with your relatives. Also, perhaps in the wrong fucking country? Never mind country, I think he's in the wrong, on the wrong continent. Ah, little column A, little column B. Alright, so... Um... I wonder what would happen if we smashed one of the windows? Well, I don't know, but I vote we'll use a soldier to find out. There are plenty that are drunk but don't have masks on them. All right, so uh, but there are no weapons. Are, there any, um, are they in full uniform with helmets? They are in full uniform. All right. Well, it looks chuck like one of these boys the just window. fuck it. Chuck an entire soldier. Between you and me, we can pick one of them up and just fucking use them as a battering ram. Can you guys okay. both make strength rolls? Oh yeah. I'm strong and hard. I, um, it takes a little bit of effort, but you're able to slowly get one of the French soldiers out of a chair. He's entirely incapacitated, drunk, um, body limp. He's a little on the heavy set side. You're thinking you wished you'd grabbed a lighter younger soldier. But you're able okay. to heft him up and force him through one of the glass windows, which smashes under his weight. He tumbles outside. What um, do you see outside? You see the French landscape. The French landscape. Um, barbed wire, fences, craters from bombs. Um, scattering of local trees, and it is dark, because it is like one in the morning. It's fucking France, all right. I'm not entirely sure how, but it's fucking France. I can smell the wine and the snobbery. Alright, so what do you like to do? Um, I assume uh, most everywhere at this point is erupting with uh, masks that want to uh, suck my face. Um, yes. And if you look back, you can see masks attaching themselves to Eva. One has already secured itself around her throat and has... Uh, its tube has gone down her throat. Uh, She's starting to scream as until her uh, voice is cut off. What was her appearance rating again? Um, her appearance rating is high. I believe it's high anyway. Hold on. I can tell you her appearance is 90. Her parents is 90. Yes. All right. And she's 20. I can give yeah, you all her uh, stats if you want them. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to, uh, wait, well, fuck that. I can't let that go to waste. And I'm going to go over here and use my knife to try and cut the... Or, or actually, wait, you said knives didn't work on them, right? Because I tried to cut it before? It didn't seem to have much of an effect. Alright, um, is it, like, wrapped around her throat as though it's choking her, or...? Yeah, if you imagine the way facehuggers acted in the Aliens movies, how they okay. would wrap their tails around the throat before yeah. moving in, that's exactly what it's doing. Okay. Um... It's, it's basically, it's increasing its purchase on her. Okay, so, hmm, how do I want to do this? My daughter, Eva! Can I go against its leverage to try and uh, slip her head out of the loop? 
You can try. You'll have to make a dex check with a penalty dice. That still makes it. Um, she starts coughing as you're able to pull her body down. Um, and the tube comes out of her throat. She's coughing and muscus is coming everywhere. She looks like she's aged a couple years in a few seconds. Fuck, you're legal now. This is fantastic. Um, and I'm going to drag her uh, out uh, out of here over back to where it's relatively safe okay. as fast as I can. Okay. She'll follow you. Hurry up, da! You have to run quick or they'll got you. Oh. He runs as best he can. He is still hurt, so he's moving a little bit slower than he would like to. Right. How how did he get hurt again? Um, he had a mask attached to him. Right. Okay. Um, In his bed. Yeah, you don't want another one of those things on your face, fun son. Or fodder. Fuck, whatever the hell I would call him. P professor. Professor? Professor of what? <sighs> Occult studies in anthropology. Oh, you don't fucking say! Uh, have you read... Well, you read, didn't fucking uh, ask! H have you read, uh... Monstres and their kind? No, no, I'm been mostly concerned with, uh... Polypodesian... Mythologies and... Occult practices in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Well, you, my friend, are, you and I are going to have to have a long sit-down and a chat, because that's actually what I study as well. Not specifically of Southeast Asia, but the occult practices in general are quite fascinating. Uh, when, when, if you get us off this train, we can have a chat. Well, that sounds like a deal. Um, and with that, I'm going to say also... Step over here for a minute, and then push him off the train. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to roll! <laughs> and he goes off the train. Oh, my father! It's okay, lass, you're next. Ah. Just, just ah. roll into a ball, you'll be fine. What are you doing? I'm getting you and your da off the train. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, and she jumps off. You see her roll yep. onto the uh, ground outside the train. Uh, Alright, John. See you on the other side. I say as I jump off uh, my my big coat rattling with all the bottles that I have. Okay. You gonna jump off the train? Yes. Alright, um, make a jump check. A jump check. Yes. Not a dex check, a no. jump check. Oh, I'm using that too. Alright. You managed to jump far enough away from the train to avoid striking the uh, passing vehicle. Hey, fuck me! That was close! I almost spilled me alcohol! John, what are you doing? Well, I was thinking about going, trying to go back to the train where we were in Australia again, but uh, since Connor has dived out uh, here, I'll um, follow suit. So, okay. do you want me to make a jump roll? Yes, please. I don't think I want to. Nope. All right, you start jumping. You jump out, and right as you're coming out the wind, 
the window in front of you, um, a piece of a decorative support beam strikes you, oh. and you take a little bit of damage. Take 12d6 of damage, goddamn. It's not going to be that much. You take four points of damage. Okay. Uh, te technical question. Is uh, Connor and John, uh, are they in France now? As far as they know, yes. Ah, so, so they made it to France. Uh, I'm not sure made it to France is a good eye, uh, is a good description. We ended up in France. Alright. Revan is also going to jump out of the train. Um, uh, also, did the girl refer to herself as professor? No, the guy referred to himself as professor. Ah, okay, so, yeah, that, that explains. Alright, um, can you guys make spot hidden rolls? I can certainly attempt to. Yes, yes I can. Alright. Connor, all right. I'm well, obviously both still you, dazed. No, think that you're in France. All right. Um, but Connor, as you look around, something doesn't seem right with the area. The everything seems a little fuzzy. Um, not quite picture perfect. Um, there are no clean lines. And. Amazingly, the train is nowhere to be seen. There are still tracks, but there's no train. So is the... it Like, out of character, would it be sort of out of focus? Yes. Okay. Well, this certainly isn't fucking right. There's no hard lines, which isn't how the world works. Unless we uh, swap to a slightly uh, parallel dimension. But uh, that doesn't quite make sense, because how the fuck would you get there just from a simple train? Do the train lines seem to be in sharp focus, or are they blurred as well? No, they are in sharp focus. And they just go from east to west. Straight line. Perhaps jumping off the train was a bit hasty. Good, good idea. Um, especially since the train lines from Perth to Derby will be running sort of roughly north south, or south north, not east west. Oh, yeah, well, at least that confirms we're not where we thought we were. Can you guys make listen rolls? I oh, certainly can. Um, listen, listen, listen. I can, but I'm not very good at it. George, you're a large boy, and I love you. All right. But get off my lap. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys are standing around in war-torn France near the German border. You see, you the train you just jumped off is coming back slowly. It's coming back towards us. Yes, it's it's following the tra it's, I mean, it's on the tracks, but it is approaching. Where you guys are, and as you watch the train it stops in front of you, um, there's a release of steam. And the conductor gets off in his crisp blue suit. Gentlemen, you fell off the train. You must hurry and get back on. I have a feeling that he might uh, know a bit more about what's going on than uh, I initially thought. Where the fuck are we, man? This is France. Yes, but we got on the train in Perth. You are mistaken, this is France. I... 
bloody well not mistaken. We've got a fucking ticket stub to prove it. This is France. You got on in France. Then why does my ticket stub say Perth? You got on in Perth, France. Is there a Perth, France? You can make an intelligence roll. Uh, I'll, I'll draw my uh, Webley and uh, aim it at him. Connor, you would know there is no such thing as Perth, France. Not a fucking place! There's no such thing as Perth, France. Bugger. Uh, you, um, take a shot at him, but he moves incredibly fast out of the way. And he reaches up towards Connor. His hand is more akin to a bird's talon. Um, the claws are, the fingers are thin, hooked claws. Um, there are small scales where there should be skin. Can I, can I dodge him? Yeah, of course. Okay, so I'm going to dodge him and pull my gun and then shoot him too. Okay. Alright, you, um, shoot him, and the bullet enters, like, hits him, and you see his skin ripple as, like, you broke water. Oh, that's not bloody good at all! And okay. suddenly, the his human form starts to fall away, and you see this grotesque humanoid bird creature. Um, it's got long limbs... Sunken eyes, um, a beak where there should be a mouth. The body is very gaunt and it's almost skeletal. Um, and there are like rudimentary feathers on parts of its body. And I need you all to make sand rolls. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. You too, Doctor. I am sane as fuck. <laughs> That's not even the weirdest bloody thing I've seen all week. <laughs> Try again. Uh, you guys both success look at it. Um, but it's not enough to rattle your minds. It's just this it's something that's not normal, but it's not enough to drive you anywhere close to insane. All right. You look like me grandma before she actually has to, a time to fucking moisturize. It starts, um, squawking at you and speaking in something that is nowhere near a language you recognize. Damn. I'd have been really happy if I'd gotten that uh, Cthulhu Mythos roll. It's going to try attacking again. But who's it going to attack? Dr. Watson, it's going to go after you. Can't even bloody well dodge it. All right. Is it. it takes a swipe at you. It's um, inhuman claw coming at your uh, to your face, but the swing is wild. It's just kind of flailing in your direction. As a mechanics question, how does dodge work in uh, melee combat? 
Is that um, just give the opponent a penalty die, or...? No, if you dodge but beat the attack roll, you're able to avoid the attack. Okay. Um, assuming it's <clears throat> not like a uh, bullet shot or something, but if it's a physical attack... So, it, like, if he can... rolls a 60 and I roll a 50, I can dodge it? Yes. Okay. If he was just punching you. Okay. At least that's how I run combat. So he uh, squawks at you. He's angry. All right, I'm going to shoot him again. Oh. Yeah, you, um, the shots go into him, and he just crumples to the ground. Uh, Good shooting, Connor. I was gonna say, back in my university days, yeah, I know I'm Irish, but I saw some things in the basement there made me want to use a gun. Went to America for a minute. And, uh, learned how to use me a, a firearm properly. And I, I saw get the to check handgun. It's the, uh, the train is sitting there in front of you. There's now nobody there to pull you back on. All right, what do you feel about getting back on the train? How many on the one hand, can we see? How many? Oh, you can make a spot hidden roll. That's how many you can see. Wait, so how many cars are there, or is it like infinite? You see Fuck. a near infinite line of cars, but at the same time, it looks just like a few. Okay. I'm just fucking bad at counting. Yeah, the drinking and the smoking will do that for you. Talking of which, I think I might light up another pipe. Sounds like a good idea. I'm obviously not functioning properly at the moment. Alright, um, so are you guys going to get back on the train, or are you going to... Uh, I don't know. Do you think we should? We're kind of stuck here until we well, if, get out. Yeah. Now I get this feeling that if we don't get back on, we're stuck in France-ish, 1916-ish, maybe. Um, but if we want to get back to where we came from, I think we might have to go back in and... Depends on, you know, what's happened to us in the meantime. Should we just get on top of the train? Make sure those little gas mask things can't get to us. Also, where the fuck are the girl and her father? You look around, but you don't see them. Oh, shite. But yeah, should we go back into the cars or just go on top of them? Of course, we chucked them out before we got out, and the train had to back up, so it sh they should be behind us somewhere. We could walk back to try and find them. Yeah, it's w worth a try, I think. Alright, so I guess uh, we're, we're in agreement that we'll walk back along the train to see if we can find uh, uh, Eva and her father. 
Um, you walk, and you do eventually start seeing um, the professor and his daughter. Now, Shane is still there. It's ever present. Thing, um, light streaming out the windows. All right. Looking up at the train, is the window nearest to us broken? Make a spot hidden roll. You don't see a broken window. Right. I'm definitely getting my pipe uh, and some uh, powder out of my bag and lighting up. I, I'm kind of, when right. you look around, you do see a broken window. Probably about 15 feet away. Oh, the broken window's over there. Uh, do you want to go look inside of it, see what's going on? Not till I finish this pipe. Oh, I can respect that. I'm too sober. Uh, and as he says that, I take out a flask and start drinking. Um, and I will offer him some if he would like. Would you mm. like some? I've got plenty. That's all right. You you can have a puff on my pipe if you like. Oh, cha dumb charitable of you. And uh, we're gonna sit for a while, drinking and smoking. I guess. I right, um, can you guys make listen rolls? Um, probably. Right. Um, the blowing wind obscures anything that you would otherwise hear. Okay. Um, I guess when we finish, we'll get up and go looking for Eva and Professor, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, they're not too far away. Okay. Um, they're just for like a little, the professor's a little bruised from the surprise of being thrown out of a train window. He was a little bit better off than that, but still shaken. Because she too seems to realize that something's not right. Well, speaking of occult practices, this isn't fucking normal. No, nothing. This isn't normal. Not normal at oh, all. Calm down, lass. Calm down. If we were, if we were someplace where it was dangerous, we'd know it already. Did, did you hear the noises? Oh, I did not. But on that note, we should probably get back onto the train. If there are yeah. noises going on, the train seems to be a semi-safe place. Yeah, because... Something about those... The, the music... It's just... Wrong. Okay. Um... Would I be able to make an occult check for a fuzzy place with music? You can make uh, yeah, you can make a uh, occult roll. Fuck me! <laughs> I'm a terrible occultist. <laughs> I don't fucking know what this is. All right, let's get back on this goddamn train. Okay. You uh. Right. You're, you're trying that mythos roll, aren't you? You get back on the train. Yep. Um, so you can move. There we go. All right. 
so you're back on the train with where all the you see all the French soldiers. Um, they're starting to look more drained of energy. Some of them have turned gray and are clearly dead. Okay, that answers my next question of uh, whether they seem affected. Yeah. But uh, with that said, I'm going to do my best to avoid all of these little uh, thingamabobbers. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, Dr. Watson, you're standing in front of a door at the end of the hallway. Connor, you're near the bar. Probably looking for more alcohol. Everybody Most likely, on, yes. Everybody's back on the train. And um, are still, the masks still floating around? Um, the ce- the, they are coming, they're still coming down from the ceiling. Okay. And you can sort of feel the train starting to move. All right. Well, somehow the train knows uh, if we're on. So this is uh, not necessarily a good thing. But... Uh, I don't see that we have much choice, because we can either be stuck out there with whatever is making noises, as as you said, lass, or uh, we can be in here with these weird masks that we can actually see. Um, how far down from the ceiling do they extend? They have a ten foot reach. Okay. So the uh, ceiling of the car is about twelve feet up. Okay, so if I'm lying like on my back, they can't quite reach me. Yeah, they would. You'd be just out of their reach. Okay. Well, what we can do is just uh, have most of us fall asleep uh, under their reach, or crawl back, uh, back to where we were before in yeah. the uh, car that's in Australia, and see if that changes anything. Yep, I think that's probably, you know, going back to Australia is probably a good bet. I always say going back to Australia was a good bet. So I guess we make our way back there, uh, presumably crawling, or at least Connor would be. Okay. Um, I need you to make a you when you get to the door you see that it's locked and it has that star shaped block on it. Yeah. Um you can roll a D four. Right, fuck. Um And decide which way you're turning the key. Uh I'm going to the left. Okay. Alright. The door opens. And you're able to go outside. All right. Uh, does the the surrounding area look the same as it did from inside the train? Yes. Okay. So I, I could reasonably make an assumption that we're still in France. At the moment, yes. All right. Um, I'm going to go through to the other side. Um, that's back... Ah, stop that. Over here. Okay. Um, And go through to this side. Okay, I'm going to move your token, because... So you... Ah! I'm moving your token for you. Okay. You are over here. Okay. So where this part of the train? Okay. Yep. Um, does the inside look any different than uh, what it did before? Um, well, when you go in, right in front of you is a wall 
To your left is a short wall with a door in it, and you, there's a hallway extending off on your right hand side. Okay. It does not look like any um, trinker you've been in yet. So this looks like this is a door here. N um, there's a door right there, right next to my. Right there's a door. I can't. I can't see where you are pinging. Right above that is the door. Try one more time. Do you see that? No. Can you just point from my character? Can you see there it, now? it is. Okay. Yes. It was Thanks. on the GM layer, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so I'm gonna see if uh, or first I'm going to wait for everyone else to get to me. Okay. So is everybody else going back that way? And by everyone I mean John. Yep. Okay. Then I will also move your token over there. Or you can walk that way. It's up to you. There you go. So now you're... I moved you over. Okay. Everybody should be moved over. Okay. Um All right guys, let us let's open this door. Okay. First I want to listen at it. Okay, make a listen roll. And don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. It is a thin, frimsy, uh, frimsy uh, wooden door. Oh, you guys don't hear anything. All right, I'm gonna kick the shit out of the door to try and open it and have my gun ready. Okay. You kick the door open, and it is a small room with a uh, old toilet. Well, shit, somebody missed. Um, I will close the door, I guess. Okay. As best you can, alright. Yeah. All right. So you just gotta close the door. All right. So where are you gonna go now? Um, I guess I'm gonna go down the hall. Okay. Um. Oi, Jim, are you gonna are you gonna come with us? Wait, wait, what? Did you discover me? Not yet. Oh, okay. I just saw his token there. Oh, I have a token. So I'll come in.
right. So what do you guys got to do? Uh, I am going to spot hidden down that hallway. Okay. You don't see anything. It's um pretty... I mean, there are doors to your left, windows to your right, but the hall is otherwise empty. All right, so uh, I guess I'll just kind of walk down. I'm wary of anything uh, trying to come get me. So far, you're just passing the doors. Um, you can hear. Make listen rolls, actually. Ooh, very nice. All right, you hear um, moans, and it sounds like people struggling against something. Um, coming from most of the rooms, a couple rooms you hear snoring. Okay. In a couple of rooms, you don't hear anything at all. Okay, I'm just going to leave those doors closed as I go down, I guess. Okay. All right. Connor, you can make... Actually, you guys can both make spot hidden checks. Connor and Dr. Watson. Spot hidden. Ooh, I'm hard. All right, um, Connor, you see the door over here is open a little bit. All right, I'll go into that door. All right, um, you go in. And you see a person sitting on the bed. Is that over here? Yes. Okay. He's sitting on the bed, um... There is a dead mask on the floor for, at the foot of the bed. And he looks like he's tired and freaked out a little bit. Okay. <sighs> and... Alex, you can introduce Jim to them. Jim. So, Hello, Jim. Jim. Uh, Jim is uh, a... Uh, so, Jim is a, a young young man around his mid-twenties. Um, kind of a big boy. Uh, stock, stocky, handsome. A uh, young lad uh, uh, wears, uh, has gloves on his hands uh, uh, and glasses. Uh, fairly well groomed, uh, like looks like a genuinely nice, nice person on his better days, but right now he's a, a little bit scared and uh, uh, afraid. And I, I guess when he sees you, kind of, kind of like jumps. Uh, back and and retreats to his stuff and start starts digging through it really quick. And then, then pulls out a gun and points in your general direction. He's like, put, it, put it down. There's uh, what? John Paul. What the hell is going on? Good question. Who the hell um, are you? Add a character, Mike. Did you say there was a dead mask on the floor? Yes, there is. How did you kill that mask? 
it's a long story. Share it. It's a really short story, but... Oh, share it over a bottle of vodka, whiskey, tequila, whatever fucking spirit of your choice. I've got it here somewhere. Uh... Okay. Um... What's your name, good sir? My name is, uh, 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 Connor. That's right, my name's Connor. Can, Connor. I, uh, can I suggest, based on previous experience, gentlemen, that we, um, share a drink or whatever in the corridor outside this room? Just that sounds like a fine idea. Uh, okay, there may so... There more of them. Seeing as they did know what this thing on the forest, uh, He's going to consider their advice as a sound and move out of the room. Uh, enjoy them in the in the hallway. <clears throat> so, so uh, I, I'm Jim, and this this thing attacked me. What? What's going on? What? I have no words to explain this. Yeah, this is not how, how trains are supposed to work. This is not how trains are supposed to work. I completely fucking agree. So, where are you travelling from and to? Uh, I assume I was also in that, right? Yeah, um, you were also in Australia. Um, when you got on the train, you had gone into the front, one of the French cars by accident. And you strongly resemble a commanding officer's son, which is why you were given a room on the French train. So, so I took the the, the train from Australia. Uh, a couple of uh, French guys uh, saw me and uh, really took a liking to me, so they, they gave me a room here. Uh, but regardless, uh, why why do you ask me? The, the train only goes one way. That's not necessarily true. Uh, some of the okay. people on the train, like the Frenchman that uh, you spoke to, um, got on the train in 1916 in France. I... What? I mean... It was suspicious to see French military in Australia. What? Doesn't make any bloody sense to us either. No. Yeah, yeah. What about that whiskey? <laughs> Give well, me here's the whiskey, you know. I'll pull out a bottle of something and hand it to you. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Jim takes the. Uh, you, you guys <laughs> all make listen rolls? Okay. Listen. At last! Oh, very nice. You get to upgrade listen. Alright, Dr. Watson, over the sounds of the trains, right, you hear this weird, almost melodic, yet calming um, flute music coming from somewhere in the distance. That it, It's getting louder the longer you hear it. Can you hear this flute music, gentlemen? And uh, ladies? No, no, I cannot. Lady? I I also don't hear any. Um, when it's pointed out to you, you sort of hear this very subtle, soft music. Hmm. It's, it's that music again. It's that sound again. It's louder. It wasn't so, so loud before. Do I recognize the music at all, Mike? It's no music you've ever heard before. So, what I suggest is that we stop this train and figure out what the hell is going on as we do it. The only way we've found so far to stop the train is to all jump off and the train will carry on going forward and then 
travel backwards again and uh, and stop right by us. Uh, I mean, okay. And when when we did that, the uh, we wound up having to shoot a guy in a conduct or what seemed to be a guy in a conductor's uniform that turned into some strange sort of cross between a human and a pterodactyl. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I think you had a really vivid nightmare. But uh, I suppose if we go to the top of the, uh, to the front of the train, uh, we could stop the engine from there. I don't see how jumping off the train could shoot it. And I don't see how if you jumped out you can get back in so so that's my suggestion I, sure. I don't know if the rest of you are uh, would you like to point out to him the errors of his thinking uh, Connor uh, you do not seem to be uh, grasping the situation Well, it's kind of hard. I'm not grasping it very much, but regardless, we cannot stay here, I don't think. No, we can't stay here, but in the hallway seems to be relatively safe, away okay. from those fucking masks. Speaking of, how did you kill the damn thing? Speaking of, how did I kill the damn thing? <laughs> You, uh, pulled some random object out of your bag, and you were managed to, uh, sever the hose. Yeah, so, I used my insane power, also a knife. I, I wasn't asleep, uh, I was reading, so I, I noticed thing coming up from, up from above, and... I just jumped to my letter opener. Just stab the shit out. What the fuck is your letter opener made of? Mithril? I, it, it did break. But it, it survived long enough to apparently kill the thing. I'm glad you're able to kill it. I am too. <clears throat> so, uh, I see that you might be more in touch with the situation, so uh, what is the, the course of action you propose? Don't let those things attach themselves to your fucking face. Genius. Yeah, start it simple, you go from there. Sure, so, if we don't have any other plan, we either follow the script music, or we go to the front of the plane to stop the, of the train to stop the engines. That's what I propose. Well, I'm good with stopping the creepy music. I don't know. If someone's playing the, the loop, then someone else might be uh, alive and well as well. Maybe we should go help them. You know, like normal people. Anybody in a situation like this playing some fucking music is not a normal and well person. No, that's, that's a fair point. Ah, unless they're uh, like the uh, fakirs in India playing music to uh, which somehow calms the gut masks down. So what are you guys going to do? Um... I figure we'll go find the person playing the music, 
I think that was the consensus we just came to. Okay, sure. So, was the music seemingly coming from the rear of the train, Mike? No, it was. It seemed like it was coming. Oh, can't we tell from the front or in the direction of the front of the train? Yeah. Okay, so we reverse direction again. All right. Reverse, reverse. You get to the oh, end after of after you, Jim. All right, Connor, you're going to have to roll the D4 because there's another lock on this door. All right, uh, D4. Uh, I'm going to turn it to the left again. Okay. All right, I'm going to move your tokens to tell you where you ended up. Oh, wait. All right. And you're all over there. Okay. There we are. Okay. So... Is your token over there, Connor? I don't see it, unless I covered it. Uh, shift click on me? There it is, yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's where you are, that's where you ended up. And it looks surprisingly familiar. Australian desert going past the windows? Australian desert going past the windows, yes. Oh, that's fucking lovely, like. Let me know if you see any camels. Why specifically camels? I've heard there's a lot of them in Western Australia. All right. Whatever you say there. All right. The door in front of you doesn't appear to be locked. Okay. Um, so you go and open the door. Are we going this, uh, fuck, this direction? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay. So you guys are all going into this, this way. Yes. So now you're all in that train. Okay. Um, there are no panels in the ceilings or the walls. Um, and the walls themselves seem sort of flimsy. Okay. Uh, Dr. Watson, as you start walking around, you see openings to um, rooms that have crates and other baggage up in them as long 
well with uh, nets and hay. But no animals. No animals at the moment. And looking out of the window, I still see Western Australia. No, you do not. What you see is black emptiness with little pinpricks of light. Okay. You do not see any ground. Um, you can't see anything around you. I thought being in France all of a sudden This is this is creepy. Let's let's move on. <clears throat> let's move on. Uh, right. do we still hear the sound? Also, whose token is the question mark? It's me. Oh okay. This guy. Jim Jones. Do I hear anything? You hear the music still playing, and it's louder. But you also hear breathing, and that weird um, bird-like speech. And coming up behind one of the crates, you see one of those creatures that looks like the conductor. Also has feathers and scales. And also looks a bit like Jim. I'll and fire a shot at it. Okay. <laughs> yep. <coughs> I will fire a shot as well. If I need to, god damn. I do will fire a shot. If it's necessary. Alright, um it has cover from M and Connor. So you would have to move your position to uh, attack it. And it's coming. It's a narrow door where it's come attacking Dr. Watson. Okay. Oh, it has cover from me? Yes. So I'd have to go there? Yes. Okay. Could I, could I go uh, past Jim this way? Um, yes, you can. Alright, then I will do just that and shoot at it so uh, John can get up on the other side and shoot it as well. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, go ahead. If, if it still moves afterwards, I suppose I'm going to take shot as well. Okay. Alright. You guys just shoot it. Um, Dr. Watson, your shots drop it to its knees, and kind of your last, your shot finishes it off, and it crumples down, dead. But now you can clearly hear shouts coming from the rest of the train. Okay. Right. Uh, do I have to make a science check for the bird person? You do. Yay. Yay. Okay, you take one point of sanity loss. Damn it! Damn it! It's an actual bird person! What How the hell? What? I did what tell you! What the hell? And John is reloading his uh, revolver. And uh, Connor is calmly uh, refilling the magazine and, and putting it back into his uh, pistol. Okay. A little fucking relax there. Oh, and I'm uh, also attaching my band to me pistol as well. I love it. All right. 
Um, like you said, the little cargo area you're in doesn't seem to have much aside from crates. Right, can you see anything, Jim? I cannot. Um, just stepping in here, there's a wall, there's this dead yeah. thing, and uh, <coughs> nothing else. No. no. I guess we go back down, uh, carry on along the corridor. All right. Um, as you go further the corridor, it opens up to the middle of the cargo train, and there are three more of the human bird hybrids. Right. John there. drops to one knee. Okay. They haven't actually noticed you yet, but they're there. Okay. <clears throat> so, Jim is going to try to uh, okay. when, when everyone is ready. Can I? Or are they in cover from Um, You can kind of make out one, but the others are hidden from you. Okay. So yeah, uh, when, when you get time. Do you want to reposition before the shootout? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm trying to find out where everybody is. Well, they're going to find you as well. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here, I guess. Okay. And wait for somebody to pass in front of, uh... In front of my, uh, little hiding place. Okay. Okay, so I'll, uh, draw a bead on the only one that I can see, this one. Okay. And fire three rounds. Okay. Okay. So we are firing. Uh. All right. <coughs> you so shoot it, um, Doctor Watson. You shoot, and the um, bullet just nearly blows its chest open. Um, there's blood pouring out of it. It looks over at you, screeches in pain. There are several other screeches in response. And wow. several come in your direction. Oh, damn. And as he starts to rush, pew! <laughs> Alright. The one that was cl that was closest to you guys just crumples over dead while others move in all right um i will reposition a little bit over here to see if i can see this one yep and i'll double tap him pop pop if it ever loads there it goes. All right, yeah, you shoot it, and in surprise, this one cries out as it dies. <laughs> but now you hear flapping feathers and running feet as several other ones start approaching. <coughs> Okay. Because there are a lot of them. Um. 
Could I ask a technical question? Sure. Uh, when when it says attack one slash two, does that mean I have an attack every other turn? No, it means you can attack either once or twice. Once or twice, okay. Yep, and if you take the extra attack, you usually take it at a penalty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It just means more that the weapon is capable of taking a second shot rather than you're taking a second shot. Okay. At this point, uh, John wishes that he had a 303 machine gun Can't in field. front of him. <laughs> that blow the M field. I would have. Uh, you want the Browning three hundred three? Yeah, or similar. Yeah, there are five uh, of these human bird hybrids running at you. Okay. And that music is still playing off in the distance, in the front towards the front of the train. I mean, if Jim is going to take a step. Uh, and John will fire three rounds at the one in front of him. Okay. All right. You shoot. This one falls dead. <laughs> As the other ones are moving, are going to start moving closer. Okay. Use my speed reloader. They're not the brightest bunch are all running at you in single file. Like. But like enemies right. in a movie, they're just running at um, you. Uh, I will hold my action until I see one of them that's alive in front of me. Okay. And then I'll double tap again. Okay. The one right here, this one, is yeah. severely injured now. Um, but Damn, it it's going to uh, <laughs> move in to attack Connor. Okay. So, it's going to take a swipe at Connor. Oh, it better roll good. It does not roll good. So you're able to move out of the way and dash yeah. its uh, swing. That's unfortunate. For it, yes. Yes. All right, what is everybody else going to do? I'll stab upwards with my bayonet into the uh, birdman's stomach. Okay. Yeah, you miss. You try to get him, but the feathers are just too thick. Nearly doesn't penetrate. I'll use uh, three luck. Okay. The tip of your blade just goes in just a little bit, and you see a little bit of blood come out. As it moves, it swings to attack you. Okay. Um, it's going to bite at Dr. Watson. Is he going to try to jump out of the way or anything? A bit difficult, as I said, I was going to be kneeling. Yeah. All right. So he bites down at you and is going to deal you the six damage. Ripping a chunk of flesh away.
How close to dead are you right now? I've uh, got two hit points left. Okay. Hmm. Now would be a good idea, good time to kill it, Jim. Uh, Jim will try to kill it, but probably be unsuccessful. Why would I? Why wouldn't I be successful? Of course. Oh I no! I was sorry. Yeah, right. Jim, kill it. Oh, that's a hell of a shot, Jim. Um, it's not paying attention. So you, when you blast it away, you blast it away. Ooh! It. Look at it. Dead. Yeah. In this close distance, I'm actually going to try for the double tap. Uh, tap, okay. tap, try for yep. the second one. Uh, uh, so, wh what are the penalties? Um, I w it would normally be a uh, penalty die. So, um, um, so, one penalty die. Okay. Uh, so, I I'm supposed to roll the other one, not the green die, but black. Uh, no, just slash R1D10 uh, and add it to the result. Three. So, still pretty solid hit. Yeah. Yep, still hit. So, this one, you hit and it's... Um, really injured. Um, blood is coming out of its chest um, from the bullet wound, but it's still trying to clamber forward. A bloody tough iron day. Shoot them some more. Uh, I will do just actually wait. I'm not near you. No, I need to get away uh, from this one and shoot the one that's attacking me. Okay. Because I don't see what's happening there. Boom. No. Boom. Oh, really? My extreme <laughs> roll. Gave you a tiny little bit of damage. All right. Um, you shoot it. It freaks out and howls. Yep. But it's still alive, so it's still going to come after you. And dodge roll... It swings and its claws sink into you. Oh. Ow. That's... Eight points of damage. That's half, more than half my health. That's it starts not... making this um, weird uh, cawing cackle that sounds like a really bad attempt at a laugh. Okay. Um, I guess it's back up to the top of the round. Yeah. <coughs> so, should I go first or should John go first? John, go first. Okay, so three rounds rapid at the one in front of me. Okay. I uh, just did a basic so fire just on the one hit. Yeah. There was no damage, it was just a regular firearms roll. Yeah, sorry, Mike, I've clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, so that's one D10. Five. Okay. It, um, you shoot it and it, 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 uh, tries to tear at the injury a little bit. Um, so it seems almost momentarily distracted, 
um, and it doesn't seem to be moving any closer. This one, however, is going to start moving. Is going to move in and try to attack. Shit! Can I shoot him for the? You can. Yep. Okay, I'm going to sing that it is the, the more dangerous one to try to double tap him again. Uh, second one could be a success, but let's see. Uh, one, two, ten, two, barely. I, uh, you shoot it and it um, squawks in pain. It doesn't seem to, it's not dead. But it doesn't seem like it's gonna move into attack. Harold. Okay. Or, um, That's me. Dr. Watson. Alright, Connor, what are you gonna do? You gonna try to run or are you gonna fight it? Um, I am going to fight it. Um, I'm going to run back up here to my f or my friends, send one at the one that just attacked me. Is it dead? No, it is not. It Fuck is really hell. pissed off. <laughs> okay, well, uh... I guess I'll, uh, look pretty by my friends over here. <laughs> Alright. Um, Watson, it's your turn again. Right. Uh, and my three rounds. Alright. Very nice. This one, as it looms over you, ready to swing its claws down, you shoot, and it just... It's dead. The second one... When you shoot... It's dead. Reload. Alright. Now there's just the one that was going after Connor. So Jim Jim doesn't see any more creatures, but if no. he hears it he will move forward and try to assist. He yeah, Jim can hear it. It's making enough noise. Where the hell is it? Ah, uh, Jim doesn't have a side on either side, so I don't know if he can shoot. Um, you can shoot it, but it would be at a penalty die. Okay, so he he's going to take, and he's going to fail. <laughs> Bing! Hits the wall in front of him. <laughs> yeah, the shot just goes wild. You miss. You're trying to avoid hitting Connor while um, shooting it and the shot just doesn't hold true. Mm -hmm. Alright, Connor. There's one staying in front of you. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna run over here. God damn it! Why won't you die? Alright. Um... As it sounds like it's trying to make some sort of response to your cry, the bullets turn to it and it just dies. It falls over dead. Oh, thank God. Fucking took it long enough. So now it's, you guys are just surrounded by dead bodies, basically. Is everything all right over there? Uh, um, um, sort of. What are those things? 
Hey, I, was hoping, that, I was hoping you might be able to tell us. I've never seen anything like that before. Are they kangaroos? No. No kangaroo that I've ever seen. But... Some of my study I've heard of some creatures that look like men that serve more powerful deities. Not quite a human, not quite slaves, but they serve somehow. Do mundane tasks. Whatever their tasks might be. Um, would I know anything more about them with an occult role? Maybe. Um, you would know exactly what he just said. Okay. Because he got a really good occult role. Okay, I'll, I'll nod my head. Yeah, but that seems about right. Not entirely sure what the fuck's going on or why they're here, though. They shouldn't just be able to show up like that. If the existential point was staring at me from this window, I know you crazy. But at this point, it's as good as explanation as any, so... Doesn't matter why, why they're here. Let's just go and stop this fucking music. Oi, well, hey, let's stop whatever the fuck is going on, because it's starting to piss me off. Yeah, I, I re-roll my... Yeah, um, and yeah, Connor oh, no. will... Yeah, I'll try and patch up uh, Connor as best I can and then think about uh, trying to patch myself up. Okay. So, f first aid or medicine? First aid. Not too good for a doctor. That's probably because my hand's unsteady, because I'm severely injured as well. Um, I'll try doing a first aid on myself as well. Also, do I have a major wound right now, or no? Um, I don't think... Wait, wait. Yes, because you took an injury in one attack. So yes, you yep. do. Okay. <laughs> so seeing as my friends are quite... So uh, I'll start filling up my pipe uh, to try and uh, ease the pain. Okay. Fuck me, this hurts like a motherfucker. Dr. Watson, you can make a constitution check. Alright, you can restore one hit point. <coughs> and you can try to do first aid on Connor again. Yay. I don't know, you get three points HP back. Yay! So... I told you it was just because my hand was unsteady, because I was yeah. uh, yep. injured. Mm. I, I don't suppose anyone... Of you Sorry, say again? You don't, you don't happen to have any extra gun? Potatoes in the back. Dude. Unfortunately, no. Oh. Yeah, I. When I took this rifle, I didn't expect to shoot it at anything other than like kangaroo or something. Definitely not bird people. Okay, I'm going to take the lead then. 
I see that you've recovered a little bit, but still seem quite hurt. Let's move on. Alright, all right. Right. I, I think I'll stay in the back for a bit. I, I am not feeling great. Yeah, you're not looking great either. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm going to start moving forward. Okay. Uh, I was considering like using the civilians as meat shield. <laughs> Let's not do that. Jim is too good to suggest such thing. <laughs> I'm going. Okay. <coughs> I saw a thing and thought something interesting. Going. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. You get to the end of the car and you come to an unlocked door. Okay, this one's unlocked. Um, get ready. All right. Uh, uh, is Connor the has his gun ready? Mm hmm. Is the music coming from the other side? Yes, you can hear it coming. Bro. Okay, I'm I'm ready with my rifle. I'm going to gently open the door. Okay. Um, you go. Out, it's a nightscape outside. There's black space. Um, distant stars. Um. The train tracks are in a straight line. Um, the train is still moving. Um, you can hear it and feel the train itself moving beneath your feet. And you're looking at the back of a coal car. Oh, ah. Uh, well, I always wanted to be an astronaut. I'm not sure if they existed. At that time, but sorry, what's an astronaut? I don't know the uh, uh, the persons that are supposed to go to space in a couple of years. I you know when we get good in rocket age. I don't know. Don't ask. I just felt like I read somewhere in a weird fiction somewhere. Alright. Do I need to climb? There, uh, is, there is a ladder that leads up to the top of the call car. Okay. But you don't need to roll anything, you just need to go up there. Okay, so no no one's giving me a sign. I'm going Alright, um Jim can make a dexterity check though. Dexterity check. Yeah, Jim is not very dexterous. All right, you um actually fall standing into the wall, um, and as you fall, you notice you realize that you're not actually standing on rock; it's more um, human remains and chopped up bone that has just blackened. Okay, so uh, you take uh, you're gonna take one point of damage, and I need you to make a sanity roll. Uh. <clears throat> Yep. Alright, you take two points of sanity loss. Jim is, Jim is not one for this world with this sanity. Personal sanity. Uh, oh! Oh my god! The, those, are, those human remains... This... God... Ah! He, he tries to stand up, like, brush it off. Uh, he, he's obviously pretty shocked, but he tries to act cool in front of the other guys. Alright. Uh, Dr. Watson, are you going up there as well? Yep. Alright, then dexterity check. 
and a sanity roll. Uh, I believe as a doctor, <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm probably... Don't... So a dexterity mute. check. Yep. Oh, very nice. You're able to balance on all the human bones that are masquerading as coal. Oh my. Alright, Connor, are you gonna try to navigate the coal as well? Uh, I'm gonna walk up to it and examine it. Alright. There's a ladder leading up. Um, but the car itself just seems to be made of gray metal. Okay. I, I meant the coal, not the car. Uh, you, well, you can't see the coal from where you are. Oh, okay. Um, well then I'm gonna climb the ladder and see, uh, where these other people have gone. Okay. Um, you look up, you get up there, you see, um, Jim and Dr. Watson are slowly making their way across the coal. Um, the <laughs> coal itself is actually more, uh, like, akin to human bone than rock. This, this train is fueled on bone? That, uh, that can't bone well. Alright, well, let's, let's see if we can, uh, skirt around the edge of this, shall we? And I'm gonna see if, uh, is it like a normal coal car where it's got, uh, uh, ridges on the side? So, like, uh, hold on. Yeah, because normally the coal would be below the uh, top of the car that it's being carried in. Yes. Yeah. It's um, very narrow, um, but you can navigate it. Um, you can walk on it. It will just require a dexterity check. I I'm more thinking something. I just threw it in the Discord. Just a train... It that looks like that. Oh, um, like... and if yeah, and then uh, crawl around the side on those little ledges uh, on the bottom. I see what you're talking about. Um, yes, it would. I guess I'll say it will still take a dexterity check, but you can uh, okay. go that way instead. Oh god, I fall off. Yeah, you start to you uh, lose your and you fall. Um, and but you find that when you fall. You still seem like you land on some sort of ground. It okay. doesn't hurt. Um, you don't see anything, but you're on some sort of physical level surface. The train is not moving in front of you, even though you can see the wheel spinning. And the um, engine, you can still see it's moving. Okay, I'm just going to walk up this train car then. Um, but you notice that there are these two strange creatures moving in the emptiness of the void. They look like a cross between a snake and a bat. Um, but their bodies Do are I, Oh, I recognize them. You would recognize as a cult... They are non-terrestrial creatures. They're some sort of myth-based creatures. All right, but that critical wouldn't get me anything more than that. Um, not in a cult. Damn. What would it be? Um, you would have had to have succeeded on your Cthulhu Mythos roll. Damn. Um, um, but I need you to make a uh, sanity roll. So okay. You know. All right. They are creepy as all hell. Um, you're not entirely sure what they are, what they're made of. Um, but they don't look like anything a sane mind would come up with. Okay. And as they move towards you, their shape continually seems to shift and change, even though they're holding the same general outline.
and but they um, are moving towards you like they're predators, like they're hunting you. Oh, good. Um. So I will instead of walking leisurely, I will run my way to the front of this train car and hop back on this side. Okay. Um, as you get up there, Dr. Watson and Jim will have been able to make their way over to the other side of the coal car okay. and reach you. Jim, Jim is also going to take the... Walking through a sea of cops. All right, um, from your vantage point, you see this thing in the uh, conductor's in the conductor seat. It looks like a blob creature with a faintly humanoid head. Um staring out the windows as if it can, it's conducting it, the train. Um, you can't see arms or anything like that. Um, with an Do I have roll, any idea? You don't know what it is, but you guess it's some sort of servant creature. Okay. Like, uh, um. it's, it's sort of, it, you would guess it's somehow ex inexplicably attached to the train. Okay. Um, I will step forward here. Um, it, does it seem to notice us? Yes. It turn as soon as you're there, it turns. Um, and you see, it definitely has a very human head. Um, but when it speaks to you, it does not speak in any language you understand. More, oh, okay. Um, spits and mutterings. And I need you to make a sanity check. Everybody can make a sanity roll now. Oh, fuck me. Somehow I hear lightning. <sighs> I'm going to go insane my first session. Adios, amigos. All right. What's the matter, guys? Doctor Watson, you lose one hit, uh, one point of sanity. Jim, you lose two points of sanity. And Connor, you lose eight points of sanity. All right. And I need I you to roll a D ten. Okay, give me one second. I will be back at the computer momentarily. My cat was bothering me. Yeah, you'd be far better off smoking opium than uh, drinking alcohol, Connor. It's not good for your brain cells. The opium? Um, you said a D10? Yes. I lose eight sanity. And... You see, you're, um... into total inaction your everything seems to be crumbling around you a little bit um, you've got tunnel vision um, you can't feel your limbs anymore um, and you are going to basically be unable to take any action for seven rounds Jesus okay I'm just going to sit there and scream. As the thing just... 
owls and um, bl continues blathering on in its state. Um, it's got a low deck, so you guys can go before it. Right, so John will do three rounds rapid. Okay. 44. Okay. I do wish I hadn't done that. Uh, Jim is also going to go for double extreme success, but maybe not so much. I don't know. Fifteen damage is um... it's still a lot. So, so, so still, it's still, still a hard success. So you shoot it. Um. So, it, your bullets sink into its flesh, um, and it, it howls, you know, this painful mourn, um, you see its stomach area sort of grow another arm that is, rather than reaching at any view, is reaching towards a firebox at the front where its control panel is. Um, and it's got its hand on the box. It hasn't opened the box yet, but that's where its hand is. So back to yeah, you. Yeah, he's not. I assume we have to kill it before he does the thing with the box. Fire at will, like. Burn oh, him alive! The um, flute playing is extremely loud right now. The second attack is a miss. All right, guys, I probably have to head off in about 10. Okay. Don't worry, you guys are almost done. Okay. Just kill the thing. All right, it's... It's hurt. <clears throat> All right, um... Harold, your first shot is a success for it. <laughs> but your other shot, your second shot just misses entirely. Your third shot goes in to its flesh and then bounces back off of its rubbery flesh. That's disconcerting. And it goes, it opens the door to the firebox giving everybody a view of what's inside. And inside is just... Um, if you imagine every image of space you've ever seen condensed into a small box, um, and there's this weird amorphous creature in the center of the box with these large um, red and yellow eyes staring back at you. I need everybody to make a sanity roll. Um, am I, do I still see this or no? Except for Connor, because Connor does not see it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so insane. Okay. 
I won't take the promises, so guys. Him. I'm going to go insane before I make. All right. Jim, you are going to take 18 points of sanity loss. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! And you have a sudden name in your mind of what you're looking at. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and you just have this name in your that mind now. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh good. Oh good, we're tangling with Azathoth now? That's, that's not fantastic. Dr. Watson, yeah. you're gonna take five points of sanity loss. The crawling chaos. And I the need mad god. both of you to roll a d10. Guys, I have I have twelve sanity left. Uh, d10, you say? How the hell do you have that low sanity? Well, I rolled. Oh, you had low points. power, didn't you? Huh? Uh, sanity should just straight up equal power. Power? Uh, yeah. I, I rolled really well on power, and I decided to make him an engineer. Really. Uh, ah, really okay. Worldly man. Um, this shit is breaking the shit out of him. Ten. I assume that's good. Not necessarily, Not depends necessarily. on what table it's on. Wait, 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 I didn't, he just, he I didn't, didn't put the, the D there. Yeah, he didn't actually <laughs> call a die. A nine! <laughs> I'll be better, I guess. A nine, okay. That's even better. Roll a D100, please, Alex. Oh god. <clears throat> when the DM says that some... Nope, nope, again. Again, the same mistake, sorry. And, just... and you get a 99. Oh. Okay. Now... I <laughs> hope that's good. This is an interesting one, but... You have a new fear looking at this. New fear, okay? You have a fear. I'm gonna post it in chess. Okay. That's fear better. Of th Ooh. Uh, uh, that's that's worse than my fear of lightning. Nah, uh, is it though? Yeah, because, like, we'll have to go up high places, I'm sure, where lightning oh, doesn't the necessarily... the fact that you're in space right now is freaking you out. But yeah. Space is relative. <laughs> space! Space! All right. All right, Not and... when you're essentially afraid of falling. It's a heck of a yeah. long drop. And Dr. Watson... You just want to run away. You want to get away as fast as possible. And you're going to be running for about five rounds. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> Alright guys, I have to head off, so I will see you all next week. Okay. See y'all see see later. Alright, bye. So Jim is the only one who is facing it right now. Yeah, so so Jim is going to cry, scream, shoot the shit out of it. Like yelling and just pumping him full of bullets. Uh like a madman. Do it, Jim. Alright. It howls, the door swings shut, um, but it hasn't attacked you yet. 
Okay. Um, Jim is afraid of his surrounding, uh, so it seems to him that the inside of this cabin is much safer place. This tent of the emptiness of the void. So he's going to run in, try to open the door, and join the alien in its cabin, then shooting it. If you want to go in there, you're going to have to go to this side. Okay. Yeah. He bursts in through the door and just keeps shooting it. Okay. You can make another, uh, you can shoot again. Okay. Just die already! Your um, shot just bounces off its flesh. But now that you're close, it's going to attack you. Damn it. Um. It swings out with its tentacles, but it flails. It misses you. It goes right over your head. Okay. Uh, th does it seem like the bullet... If the bullet, like, it, like it was about to, like, it was going to pierce, but then it just kind of fall, fell away. Like, its um, skin was too thick to pierce. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay, so I'm a professional engineer. Uh, when piercing doesn't work, try to bludgeon. He turns the gun around and tries to just bash the thing on the head with it. Okay. Uh, Uh, what is this enough? Um, you would make a fighting brawl roll. Fighting brawl. Uh, fighting brawl. Very good at it. Good enough. Okay, um, and it's a uh, D8 of damage. D8. My bonus damage from combat. Um, nope. yeah, yes, you will include your, da your damage bonus. Okay, so D8 plus D4. 4 damage. Okay. Does it seem more effective? It does seem more effective, yes. Okay. So it's going to take another swing at you with its tentacles. <coughs> and it seems it's going to, so its tentacles are going every which way. Yeah. I've witnessed the crawling, crawling chaos, so keep on bludgeoning that guy. Nope. No, nope. You, you try to swing and you end up hitting Connor. Uh, is he unconscious? Um, well, make a attack of the damage. Uh, the same damage as before, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, now I rolled well on the damage. Good. I, I get him uh, on the back, so he just... I will assume that he is currently unconscious. Yeah, I don't think he can survive that. Alright. It's time for the monster to eat. Um, the monster is going to make another tentacle attack. And it is not good at attacking, it's just trying to strike you and it's doing a bad job. Thank God. Uh, keep rolling. Nope. They're just flailing at each other. Like madmen. Oh, but now it swings and the tentacle strikes you. Can I dodge? You can try, but you have to uh, critical be dodge too. Oh my god, I just received the dice. Jeez. No. No, That's... so 
you'll take That's nine. You take nine points of damage. Oh no! Nine points of damage. Okay, okay, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay, big money this time. I I need. <laughs> yes. All right. As you swing the gun down, do you um hear a crack, and the creature's eyes roll back in its head, and all its limbs fall limp. Yeah. So now um, there's nothing controlling the train, um, but it is still barreling down the tracks. Um, yeah. All, all the metal bars are glowing red from heat, um, but there's nothing controlling the dials are not registering anything. Uh, I suppose we're going to end soon, right? Okay, so I, I guess just Jim... Jim just collapses from being hurt, and from his madness, he's just r r like a rave, he's just crying and just keep hitting the corpse of the thing, like, ah, just die, die already, and yeah, that's from him. Okay. Well, that is where we will end the session. <laughs> so... I will assume that Dr. Watson's sanity will expire. Um, and Jim, you've just passed out, weakly striking the dead creature. Yeah. All right. Encounter's unconscious. Mm -hmm. So, can I recover in science? Um, you will not. No, this is, there is no uh, uh, okay, rescue <laughs> improvement at the moment. It was it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Next session, I'm going to say. All right. Okay. Right. Good night, gentlemen. Yep. Have a good night. Bye bye.